Jesus, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, and what he has done for me, my very soul shall shout, hallelujah, praise God for saving me, for saving me. Baba, 
Appreciate you for taking us up, O Lord. Glory be to your holy name. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For your word is here and amen. We bless your name. We appreciate you. Hallelujah, Jesus. We reference you, Lord Jesus. Glory to your holy name. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ancient of this. As old as you are, as old as you are, you will never change. A shirt of this, as old as you are, as old as you are. You will never change. Glory to your holy name. We worship you, Lord. You are the Alpha and the Omega. You are the everlasting Father. You You change it not. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. You are a dependable God. You are God eternal. Blessed be thy name, O Lord. Thank you for the understanding. Thank you for the revelation. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Lord Jesus, the mercy we receive. Blessed be thy name. Thank you for you are full of compassion. You are a compassionate God. Glory to your holy name. Thank you, thank you for, for everything you've been doing for us. Thank you for another week. Thank you for the previous week. Thank you, Lord, for the past month. Thank you, Lord, for even the month of June that is going to our name. Thank you for the rest of the year. Thank you for the life in Christ. Glory to your holy name. Thank you, everlasting Father, for opening our spiritual eyes. We bless you, Lord. We worship you. We appreciate you. Hallelujah. Be your name, O Lord. Thank you. Bless our Redeemer. May your name be praised. May your name be glorified. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, eternal life. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Blessed be thy name, O Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for your presence is here in the name of Jesus. You will never leave us nor forsake us. Thank you for taking us up. Holy Spirit, we bless you. Thank you, thank you. 
for you are reliable. Glory be to your name. Thank you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We worship you. We say thank you. Thank you for everything. Blessed be thy name. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus. Wonderful name. We have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' wonderful name, we pray. Amen. 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 Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. We are welcome to the presence of God. Thank you, Lord. Those that are joining us live on Facebook and on YouTube, we say you are welcome. We bless the name of the Lord. Our God is a dependable God. Yes. The invisible God. The God that is ye and amen. Is the Alpha and the Omega. It's not a man that he should lie. Yes. Man has no integrity. But our God is a reliable Father. Yes. Blessed be thy name. Invite more people to join us. If you are on Facebook or on YouTube. Or you are hearing us on radio. On Rock City FM. One oh nine point five in Abel Kuta Ogo State. God bless you. Hope this word is doing you good. This is the word for this end time. Whether we like it or not, we are already into a perilous time. And things will continue to be tough. Yes. But they that know they are God, they shall be strong in the midst of all this that we have been told that will come to pass. So, the word of our comfort is the word of God, the reliable word of God. God said in Joel 2.28, in the last days, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Flesh profited nothing. When the spirit of God comes upon the flesh, flesh, you know, now acting according to the will of God, the spirit of God upon man's flesh makes flesh to respond to the will of God. So I am welcoming us all, wherever you opportune to be listening to us. Permit me to say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and to those that are going to bed, as we have different time, you know, in every different soul, you are opportune to be listening to us. God bless you and Happy Father's Day to all the fathers in the house. You are welcome. So we have this topic to treat today. A life pleasing God. A life pleasing God. The Bible says it is not possible for flesh to please God, but for the promise of God to release his spirit upon all flesh, so it can be possible. It is with man, it may not be possible, but with God, the Bible says all things are possible. The Bible says the expectations of the righteous shall never be cut off. Do you have any expectation? Hold on to that expectation. It has to be fulfilled by trusting God, living in faith, by faith, allowing faith to guide your life. We are in the last days. You can't rule it out. Terrible things that will be happening. Because the accuser of the brethren, 
Lucifer was the throne to the earth. And the word of God says, Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. For the devil has come to you with great anger. For he knew he has that a short time. Man must not be careless. We cannot blame God in any situation. We have been warned and we have been told that the accuser of the brethren was casted down to the earth. And therefore, the Bible says, we should be sober. We should be vigilant for our adversary, the accuser of the brethren. That same job he did in heaven and he failed. He want to accomplish it on earth. And he's so determined that he will not fail. He can only fail over the life of those that will know their God and by those that will stand by the promises of God in his word. This is not the generation we are to be seeking for one prophet or the other. All the prophets that fill the streets, fill the places here and there. Were they really prophets of God? No. no. But this is not the time for the activities of these prophets. What can they tell us that the Bible has not told us? Perilous time. In the last days, where the promise of God says, I will release my spirit upon all flesh. So nobody will be short of what God is saying. Because the testimony of Jesus is the gift of prophecy. And the testimony of Jesus is that Jesus conquered the devil, the adversary, the accuser of the brethren on the cross of Calvary. And he has given us victory. So what we expect from the true prophet of God is the testimony of victory of Jesus on the cross of Calvary. Any other prophecy is from the pit of hell. It doesn't matter whether that person dress in suit, in a badger, in white, in red, in any position. That prophet is coming to us. Whether he look rough or decent, whether he knows the scripture or he didn't even know the scripture. It's you and I that must know, according to Hebrews chapter 1, from verse 1, that it was in the time past that God used the prophet to speak to our fathers. This is our own dispensation. God is speaking to us directly through his word. The Bible says he sent forth his word, and his word he let them from all their diseases. There's nothing left that the word of God has not told us about this end time. Let us hold firm unto our, the confession of our faith to the end. To the end. Not looking back. So we are looking into this subject today. A life pleasing God. Don't forget that the devil is the accuser of the brethren. According to Revelation chapter 2, 1 verse 13, he said, I know your works. I know where you dwell, where Satan has his tents. Is the devil there to clap for people? Or to rejoice with them when they are doing ceremony, whether wedding ceremony, whether wedding anniversary, whether uh, uh, naming ceremony, or whatever, or freedom, or whatever ceremony you are doing. No, the devil is not there to clap. The Bible tells us in John 10, A and B, that the thief has come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. I know your works. I know where you dwell. I know your dwelling place. I know the address of your house. Satan is your neighbor. He's the one close to your house. 
And yet, because you know his activities, you are not ignorant of his devices. You hold unto my word, to the instruction of the word of God, to the end. You don't allow destruction. You don't allow the accuser of the brethren to bring you down. You don't allow yourself to be entrapped. Because so many people have been entrapped by the devil. Devil is rejoicing over so many people. You started by faith. Who has bewitched you? You now deviated when you gave your life to Jesus in a living church. But now you are missed up with all these churches, fake churches we have around. When I listen to people, especially one uh, brother I knew very well from first school, and I asked him, we were discussing, he said, he, is that a worker in F MFM? I said, from first school to MFM. What has led you to that? Because I know your works. I know where you live. One way or the other. Many people have been deceived. Eh? They, they, they will tell you, those churches look alike. It may look alike, but it's not the real thing. It's destruction of the devil. Be careful. It's over. Your enemy, the devil, is not relenting. It's not giving up. It's still wrong about. It has no pass, you know, permanent place. When it's true with you, it goes to others, other places. Not only that, he had established so many fake counterfeit look alike churches. I am warning you, be careful. Hold on to that faith to the end. So our first reading today will be from Hebrews chapter 11. How can I live a life pleasing to God? Because <laughs> if your life is not pleasing God, it will please the devil. As I said, John 10.10, 10, the part B of it says, Jesus said that I have come, that they might have life, and that they may have it in abundance. In the midst of all this confusion, how can I have and enjoy life in abundance? It is possible. You, you, that can be achieved by faith, only by faith. The just shall live by faith. Personal faith is different to a collective faith. The faith of your father is different to your own faith. The faith of your general overseer is different to your own faith. Even the faith of the father is different to the faith of the children. But we have examples of people that live by faith. And it was well with them. So I decree it shall be well with you. Amen. It shall be well with us. Amen. This is our own time. Don't forget, a certain man is born again. You cannot even practice this faith we are talking about. Faith is not for the unbelievers. It's for the just. The just. Those that have taken you know, the advice of the Bible. When Nicodemus, elder Nicodemus visited Jesus by the night, Jesus said to him, not that he suggested to him, he said to him, a certain man is born again. See yourself in the position of Nicodemus. I don't know the position, the hierarchy that has been given to you in your church. Put it aside. If you are not born again, you are not qualified to be a Christian. Get it clear. Except a man is born again. And to be born again is the elementary of being a Christian. Except a man is born of the water 
and of the spirit it cannot enter so in your teaching the teachers will now prepare you for how your name will be written in the book of life and once your name is written in the book of life it is then you will continue to trust in the word of god you will not look back for after you have started the race you look back you are not fit for the kingdom of god and that is why you need to continue by faith any church you belong to where they have taken you away from faith ignorantly that place the founder of that place is the devil he has come to steal to kill and to destroy once you allow satan to deceive you it is then a false prophet false teacher will think you will begin to teach you wrong doctrines be careful we are living in a perilous time dangerous time difficult time hold on to the word of faith this is not anybody to ask you to add something together to support your faith this is not the time faith cannot fail you your faith in christ no other jesus is the truth the way and the life jesus the true living god and eternal is the one as long as you follow him to the end that will lead you into eternity there's no alternative there's no other way it's the only one that said i am the way the truth and the life don't be deceived religion is a scam religion is a thief religion is the work of satan to deceive you to lure you into error religion don't be too don't be too religious don't be too religious Nicodemus was a religious man. He loved position. You want to become bishop. You want to become archbishop. Too many people because they were not born again. You want to become geo. You want to become founder. From the news this morning, a pastor called Enoch is an evil guy. Had five children he killed the wife and buried her in a rented apartment shallow grief if you ask him he will tell you it is satan if you don't deviate from faith satan cannot deceive you because it's your adversary he has come to steal from you it's the thief he has come to it has come to make you to deviate from the right way. I know your works. And if you ask him, he will tell you he had suffered. He doesn't want to suffer again. But it's just starting punishment. It's an eternity. Unless he repents. But Satan has deceived him to shed blood of his wife can he alone take care of the five children satan is using people here and there it doesn't matter whether you're a man or a woman the word of god says guide your heart with all diligence don't permit evil thought to come to your mind every time evil thought come to mind evil thought every time but if you don't have integrity, the Bible says, submit yourself to God. Resist the devil. Every minute, evil thought comes to mind. But when you know the trick of the devil, you know how to rebuke. You know how to cast out. You know how to ignore. And you know how to resist. 
But you have to submit to God. You can't do it by your power. It's not by mind or by power. You can't do it by your own integrity. But God's integrity. The Bible says there's a way it seems right unto man. You didn't know the end. And that is the way of destruction. You have to ask yourself from time to time, am I still in faith? Jesus asks, will I meet faith when I come? And the devil has been working towards that so that Jesus will be disappointed when he comes back to the earth. So he's been going up and down, deceiving men, deceiving people, using them against themselves. Making people to believe that, yes, the earthly kingdom has been handed over to him. He tried it with Jesus. He failed. Why must he not fail in your own life, in my own life? It's a personal decision. Your parents cannot decide that for you. That is why you need personal faith. What can we talk about your faith? What can we talk about my own faith? We have people we want to read about their faith in the Bible. The just shall live by faith. If you are a just person, you will not think how to shed love before you will make it. You will not think how to make it by force, by fire. I was telling someone when I was to go to Bible college yesterday, I was at work and the person called me and I was sharing my experience with him. He said there was a time in my life I could not afford to pay house rent. And the house I was living, three bedroom flat, a beautiful house. And I told the, my landlady, blessed memory, the woman is late now. I will going to the Bible college for one year. Took me feet to do that. Lock up the house, pack my car, and I left to the Bible college. And I had devil asking me, don't pretend. Satan is available any day, any time. I know where you live. You live where Satan has his tents. Let us not deceive ourselves. Where is the tent of the devil? In your heart. Close to you. But you can resist him. Don't deceive yourself. It is not that block house close to you where Satan lives. No. Lives within you. And that is why you need to make sure you have been delivered. Your deliverance must have been completed. If it is not completed, this man is still there. He will be whispering to you. He will be deceiving you. If you don't recognize him, he can bring you down. But God forbid. God will not allow that. But be vigilant. Be sober. Your adversary is not your friend. I say it every time. I am not a friend of the devil. What others will do and they will have their way. I cannot do because I am not his friend. I am not in his good book and I don't want to be. So we are in the last days. This is not preaching. We, 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 we need to address ourselves how to skate through this perilous time. How we can remain overcomer for life till eternity. I was telling that brother when he called me. It's one of our tenants at home. I said, the devil whispered to me, how will you pay for a, 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 the rent of a whole year? I said, I will sell my car and I will pay. And I left to the Bible college. No sponsor. I took step of faith. You, do you know that word that I said happened? As I came back 
and I determined I will not owe any landlord, not even for one month, any rentage. So I went out looking for who will buy my car. I sold that car, I think for 2,800 naira. And I took the money for a whole year. I was still having balance. You can see where Nigeria was and where it is today. It's gone. And that is why you need to live by faith. The worse things are getting, the better your faith must grow. Faith grows. And that is why if you, if you are not living to believe God for a thousand naira or a thousand pounds, and you are talking of 50,000. You see that you have passed your boundary. You have opened the door to the devil to come and suggest to you the only way you can get that done is to shed blood. You know God will forgive you. You know you will confess it later. You have not sinned against man. You have sinned against God. That is how Satan whispered to us. You need to have grown more than that level. So, I sent the money to the woman. The woman happened to be a Christian. Miss, the late Mrs. Adekoya said, I've not asked for any right from you. I said, Ma, I don't want to have any deals Rent, any any rent deals on my neck for my future. The car I sold them, this is where I'm going. The car I sold them was one. But by the time we were leaving Nigeria to come here, I think we were having six cars in our compound. And that is where without faith, you, there's no achievements. When I'm talking of achievements, I'm not talking of this world. Jesus said, I have come to, so that they may have life in abundance. Whatever you have, the blessing of the Lord that added no sorrow to it. You see? So, the blessing of this world that devil gives a take, but the one that God has given to you. Unless you are thinking about how you also can be a blessing to and give them out. They are not the one that will take your life or kill you. So brethren, the faith of your father is different to your faith. We are going to read about the faith of our fathers. And I told you, Hebrews chapter 1, God use prophet to speak to our fathers why must you now in this dispensation still expecting one prophet to come and give you a message when jeremiah 29 from verse 8 tells you that do not listen to the prophets that are in your midst the bible said they are diviners so who, those people you call prophet the bible said diviners Yoruba meaning of diviners means Allah for shape. That is what you allow them to speak to your life will come to us. Because it shows you are not a believer. If you're a believer, you will depend upon the word of God. You will live your life by faith. And the word of God said further in Jeremiah 29, I know the thoughts I think towards you. The thoughts of peace not of evil. You walk towards that peace. And that is how, don't forget a life pleasing God. How can my life please God? You walk towards the promises of God for your life. You aim at God's promises. Nothing more. The expectations of the righteous. You see, the, what are your expectations? Your expectations is that my tomorrow is going to be better. 
What are your expectations? My expectations mean is that everybody may be dying here and there. I am not going to die before my time. If you don't have expectation, the devil will give you one. What you didn't bargain for. So you must have expectations. You must have plans. And now that the word of God has said, I have good expectations for you. Why do you want false prophets to deceive you? Create fear in your heart. Brings you down. Makes you to trust in them. And at the end of the day, they will demand money from you. Why? So Satan has been doing this all around since he was dethroned from heaven. And the world is not getting better. Things are getting worse. The system has collapsed. The earthly system has collapsed. The Holy Spirit ministered to me about the custom officers, the way they are doing. And the Spirit of God let me know that in the Spirit there are custom officers. We call them onibodi. You know, in this physical, those custom officers, the way they are doing, shows the corrupt customs, spiritual custom officers we have. So if the spiritual custom officers collapse, the result is what we are getting. They will leave the border. They will now go to these markets. Oh, first, the doors of people's shop pack every bag of rice they found there, give to their wives to sell. These people escape from your border. You can see that everything has collapsed. How can I live life pleasing to God? Individually, don't forget the Bible says, Walk out your salvation with fear and trembling. This is not the time you carry your own load and you carry another one. You are helping somebody. Are you sure you are a Christian? You ought to be sure before you can help others. You can only give what you have. So we see everybody becoming pastor, church founders. Evangelist prophets, the results is what we are getting today. Everybody is saying God called me. It shows God has not called them. Because the Bible says many are called, but few are chosen. Even though if God has called them, had they been chosen? Because this end time messages is for the chosen ones. The chosen, they are the anointed ones. And they are very few. Many are called, but few are chosen. If you are opportune to come across one of the few ones, they will not mislead you. It is not easy to identify them because they don't, it, they don't seem to be attractive. They are not popular. They have no big names. Because Satan is the ruler of this world. They have not bowed to the devil. So Satan cannot promote them. Signs and wonders taking place in their churches will not be advertised by the devil. It will not be pronounced. If it is signs and wonders that bring people to the church, I am telling you, in Isaiah Vision Christian Church, we will have had more than millions of people. But I came to realize that the one that is not glorifying the devil will not promote it. Let me give you just one tip of when that happened. I was at K2 for an open crusade where the late gospel Waoyewole gave his life to Christ. The second day, the blessed memory, Reverend Dr. Abiyano Fakunda, the one that sponsored that program, took gospel Waoyewole with joy in his heart to attack. 
they were contemplating on how and my own mission there was just to assist do the crusade prove to him that the former foundation was wrong a new foundation needed to be laid within one and a half month i did it was it up to one and a half month a few days after a one month the Holy Ghost spoke to me, pack your load and return back to your place. And that was what I did exactly. I wanted to pray a prayer. Father, let not your presence depart from me. Let me not be deafened to your voice. Can you imagine? God just spoke to me, pack your load. Now, on Sunday, I traveled home after the service. I went back to Abekuta Sunday. I came back to Lagos at Ketu. I slept over till morning. Between that night and the following morning, I heard the voice of God, pack your load. I said, I traveled yesterday. Why was I pack my load again? Would they not ask me, but you came yesterday. What have you come to do? I have come to stay. Obey force and then complain. I got home. I said, now, Father, what will I do? Where will I start from? You come into the ministry. My mission has been accomplished. If Reverend Fakun that did blessed memory said, if it is because of this man alone that this crusade happened god's power was rewarded now where i was going when he was taken to altar and you know the church in altar you know when you are rich there's no bishop or archbishop that you knock at the door that the door will not be open for you reverend in the celestial church then was a rich, very rich man. Director of two merchant bank. Even though get us a B. Everything the devil took back. And I want this man. I said, you need to understand the system of this world. If you are in the in the good book of the devil. Anything you do, it will cover you up. And that is why many people are suffering. For lack of knowledge. For they don't know how things operate in the system of this world. Some pastors, ignorantly, they've joined the Kaaba because they didn't know that Satan wants everybody to be under him. Anything you want, he suggested it to Jesus, but he knew not that Jesus was his maker. Jesus knew everything about him. The devil was limited in understanding. Get that right. It's not the all-knowing Satan. No. Our God, through Jesus, is the all-knowing God. So, the third day, it was in the news that God's power got converted from the winner chapel. Front page of the newspaper. <laughs> Their attention was called to it. All glory belongs to God. By the grace of God, I was the one that spent seven days in the house of this man. God's power Oyewole. For his deliverance. He surrendered all equipments. He confessed all his past sins. He confessed every, to the one he wanted to act as like Jesus that was raised on the third day. He wanted to make his own the fourth day. But God never allowed him. He shared everything. How he pl plotted it with his followers. I don't want to go into that. 
so that it will not take our time. You have gotten the point I needed there. It was published. Earthly glorification. It will bring shame. What we see in the world today are not glorifying God but the devil. And that is why the devil is clapping for all of them. But the end of the devil, his time is over. The end has come. The time for their shame and disgrace has come. Satan is harvesting all evil he had sown into the world. So, my brother, my sister, this is the time you need faith. Let us not deviate. How can I live a life pleasing to God? It just shall live by faith. Let's read Hebrews chapter 11. Please open your Bible with us. Now, faith is the reality of what is hoped for. The proof of what is not seen. For by it, our ancestors were approved. You want to be approved by God? It's by faith. It's not by cajoling people. It's not by strictly serving Satan and you are professing you are a servant of God. Many are called of are chosen. Are you among the few? And who are the few? Are the few known? They are not known. Those that are not called, those that are agents of darkness, they are the one the world knows today. Are you surprised? Yes. Can you imagine? Seven days open air crusade. At Ketu there. It was a, a wonderful program. This man that sponsored it said he had no ability, he had no, no, no faith to organize this type of a crusade. If not for this man, all glory to God. He said it. And it was recorded in the video. I don't even bother to ask for the video. Because all I was doing, until today, all I am doing is for the glorification of God. Jesus is to be glorified. So I don't have to, you know, keep the record, show the photo, do this. I don't have time for that. Let God be glorified. I can only do the little I can be doing. It's not by mind or by power. If you don't have faith of your own, this world is too much for you. It's too difficult to live in. Second one. Uh, no, we are okay. For, uh, verse 2. For by it, our ancestors were approved. You want to be approved? It has to be by faith. The third one. By faith, we understand that the universe was created to the world by the word of God. The universe was created by the word of God. Is it not in John chapter 1? In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. By him, all things were created. Nothing that was created without him. And they were all created for him. So can you see that from see the di different you know, the distance between Hebrews and John chapter one, even Genesis to Hebrews, when the world was formed, everything was done by faith. You want to live in it without faith, you won't go far. Verse four: By faith, Abel offered to God a better sacrifice than Cain did. By this he was approved as a righteous man because God approved his gift. And even though he is dead, he still speaks through this. Verse 5. By faith Enoch was taken away so that he did not experience death. And he was not to be found because God took him away. For prayer to his transformation. He was approved 
Having pleased God, now without faith, it is impossible to please God. For the one who draws near to him must believe that he, is, he assists and rewards those who seek him. Can you imagine? If you don't have faith, you will want to work out your reward by yourself. You will not believe that it's God that will reward you. It's a reward of them that diligently seek him. Oh, I thank God by the grace of God. When I went into the ministry, I did it as if it was my church and it wasn't my church. You see, I did it as if I was not even asking for salary, no even accommodation. I left my own accommodation, the one I rented, I paid for after I've sold my car. You see, I was still having extra money with me. I can't remember how much was the rent there. For a whole year, I don't think it was up to 800 Naira. Because I paid and I was still having extra money with me. You see? So, to the glory of God, there's nothing that I gave into the ministry that in hundred folds God has not given back to me. It's a reward that of them that diligently seek him. Pastors, don't let anybody deceive you. That you have to, you know, put one or two things together to support the to, to support yourself or the ministry so that people can come. If you think without the people, you cannot be taken care of. That is outside faith. That is not faith. Go surprise me in all ramification of my thinking all the way around. God proved to me I needed not to depend on how many people that come to the church. God proved to me, even when I was not having, I need, if there was a time at Ijabode, I needed just about 150 naira to survive per month. The money was not forthcoming, but I survived it. There is no situation in your life that faith cannot make you to survive. You need to live by faith. You need to live by faith. Don't, don't, the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Every other thing shall be added to it. This is faith. That is, you don't put before you, oh, like I was thinking when I received my call in 1982, when I read Isaiah chapter 6, and the Bible said, keep on telling them they will not yield. They will listen, but they will not change. So that they will be healed. So that they, they, they will turn and be healed. God made me to understand. Hearing the word of God is not enough. But when you change your position, when you turn to God, when you return back to Him, your healing is automatic. Your deliverance is automatic. Your success is automatic. But no, we don't want to go that way. God taught me that lesson. And to the glory of God, I cried that day. I can't forget. 28th November, 1982. I wept. Why? I said, God, this is a hard ministry. If people didn't listen to me, how will I survive? How will I be taken care of? How will I live a successful life? But today, whether you listen, you don't listen, whether I have five people in my church, uh, I don't have up to five people. I am telling you, pastors with 10,000 membership cannot compare themselves with me. This is faith, what faith can do. I cried that day, but God surprised me. God made me to believe that without a fixed salary, I can be taken care of. And I learned my lesson in a hard way. But there's something that is sure. The man that did this to me suffered the consequence before he died. 
I don't want to go into that details. But I'm telling us how our, our life is pleasing to God. Please, I beg of you. Don't, because by the time you are looking onto how you are going to do it, you relate with wrong people. You see them shining. Those wrong people, they will lure you into sin. Those wrong people, they will mislead you. Once you miss it, and that is where the Bible said, no one dare put his hand on a plow and look back that is fit for the kingdom. And that is why so many bishops today, they've gone too far. They cannot turn back. They cannot reverse back. They cannot come back and be wretched. Because the devil is ministering to them. Yo, you have been known all over the world. And that is why today, if you don't know me, people that are close to me knows me. I don't want flamboyant life. I don't want popularity. I don't want people to know me. I don't, I've, I, I've, been, I've known so many big people that I never associate myself with them. You won't believe it. The closer we had at Ijebode, it was Bishop, now Bishop Waleoke, then Rever uh, Reverend Waleoke, that ho hosted that, uh, he was our host at Ijebode. He was our host. I was the one driving the bus, inviting people to the crusade. I just went there to assist them. I was invited to assist them. And at the end, my name was announced that I will be the one that will look after the church without any promise of how to survive or housing, taking care of me. No. And I wept that day again. Yes, the Holy Spirit ministered to me. Is it not to prove whether you are called or not? To the glory of God, Church of God mission in their body is still standing to today. That was 1989, February 1989. And I was there for three and a half years, posted back to Abeokuta. The capital church had problem. Somebody caused problem for the church. God used me to revive the church back to the glory of God. I did all this. I never knew all this that I was doing. They are going to be my own foundation of what I am standing upon today. I can assure you, God will not let you down. It's a reward that of them that diligently seek him. How can my life please God? Living a life pleasing to God. Don't be thinking about yourself. You know? Don't be thinking about prosperity, wealth, fame. Don't associate yourself with people so that you can be known. Bishop Wale Okede was using Pojo 404 at the body that year. 404. If you know him, you will know that I'm correct. I did it because of, and after that we have met separately. We were together at the hotel, Gateway Hotel, Jebode. I sat beside him. He cannot see me and recognize me. He cannot see me and recognize me. Because I didn't go there personally. You didn't remember me, sir. I'm just, sir. I'm just, sir. Not only that, I was a national presbyter in Church of God Mission. Within three years, I was in the ministry. I was called upon and ordained in 1993. I didn't sought for it. I didn't report to anybody that was maltreating me. I did not even went there to ask. I've not been receiving salary. Benson, that was so hard that somebody was working without being paid. And I was invited to Benin. And recognition took place. Recognition I never sought for. I became national presbyter for most states. Not only that, I was close to him to be a national presbyter. You know what that means? With a ministry, I didn't take advantage of that. 
And when I resigned, the man asked, Why is Reverend Shueto leaving us? No answer to today. And no reply to my letter of resignation to today. Listening to the voice of God, because I knew I cannot continue in that ministry and fulfill my ministry. My ministry to the white garment people. They will not allow that because they believe in let them grow together. They believe in the multitude. And the ministry God gave to me, God told me in Isaiah chapter 6, if you have time, read Isaiah chapter 6. God said, keep on telling them. So that on the last day, they will not say, and nobody told us. The Spirit of God will tell them, don't you know Shueton? You took him as your enemy. All he has been saying. You know, if you know me, you will know. I am not a friend of the devil. My ministry is Isaiah vision. I, it, it doesn't come from my head. When you read Isaiah chapter 6, as the Holy Spirit to minister to you. What made me cry? I knew from the beginning that my ministry would not get support from men. I knew it would recognize. It's in Isaiah chapter 6. But he said, keep on doing it. The reason why I cried is that it too, I will be in isolation. I will be on my own. I will be by myself. Nobody will assist me. But my help from the Lord is coming from the Lord. And I just thank God for the grace. Because it is grace. But the just shall live by faith. I learned faith. From when I was going to the Bible college, I went to my fridge. I bought a fridge for 630 naira. A brand new fridge. Fridge and freezer. From one Mosun at, uh, 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 that is uh, Omida. In Abekuta, Mosu Enterprises, brand new, 630 Naira. In 19, 1988, I was to go to the Bible College. No sponsor, nothing. I called the compressor of the engine of the fridge. I sold it for 200 Naira. 200 Naira to transport myself to be and for one year i was there for one year faith faith without it you can't live you can't survive faith i knew nobody any my brother that i approached to take me there was an engineer with nmpc he was laughing with me hmm. pastor 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 it's in canada today but today it's also a pastor <laughs> after <laughs> after his retirement mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a pastor i believe what any day i meet with him and i reminded him he was the one that took me to benin he took me there, dropped me, went back to his work. Not that he sponsored me, no. I did not even go to him and say, I am suffering. The just shall live by faith. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. From verse 7. By faith, Noah, after being warned about what was not yet seen, in reference, built an ark to deliver his family. By this, he condemned the world and became an heir of righteousness that comes by faith. Because of our time, we shall continue from here if Jesus starts next week. Personal faith, not the faith of your Jew, not the faith of Pastor Shueter, not the faith of uh, Baba Mose Olimolade. Not the faith of uh, the man that was praying in, yeah, inside the Babalola, inside the tree. My brother, my sister, the faith of these people were written in the Bible. What can we say about your own faith? 
the just shall live by faith. Not by the faith of their fathers. Not by the faith of the founder of their church. Not by the faith of their geo. This is the mistake Satan is making everybody to live by. We don't work out our own faith. Work out your salvation. To live a life pleasing to God. Whereby God will look at you. Look at your record. And you know it's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. As your name written in the book of life. Because when I gave my life to Jesus, God opened my eyes. I saw, we only have two books, so God opened my eyes to see. That will help your faith. That will help your working with God. That will help, you know, you believing and trusting God. I saw that my name was from one book, taken from there to the other book. And that is the book of life. And that encouraged me. That gave me reason why I must continue. Why I must not look back. As God opened your eyes to see, we have two books. Whether you are a Catholic, whether you are a Sele, whether you are Sihanes, Kerosene and Selophim, whether you are a Muslim, whether you are a Redeemer, whether you are a member of Mountain of Fire, any denomination you belong to, if your name is not written in the book of life, there's no eternity for you. Let God open your eyes. Maybe that will help you to retrace your steps back to God. Don't say you have gone too far. Many people believe Satan has lifted them up because if you are in this world, Satan, is the prince of this world. He came to Jesus. He failed. Why must he come to you and you not let him fail? Jesus said to him, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. You dare not. The Bible says, Submit yourself to God. Resist the devil. And he will flee from you. What Jesus did to Satan, you also, you and I, we can do the same thing. When we depend on Christ, when we look unto him, the author and the finisher of our faith, that is the word of God, is the author, is the Alpha and Omega, is the author and the finisher, the beginning and the end of our faith. So, there, you develop your own faith. You ride on Christ's faith, not your Jesus' faith. You don't need the prayer of anybody. The Bible says, whatever you decree on earth shall be decreed in heaven. Everything is by faith. I can't tell you all I've been through in life. I was not supposed to be alive till today. I was determined to be killed at the age of 40 for what the kingdom of Satan planned for me. Even the one before the, then. Yes, I think 1980, 82, I ought to have been killed. I see then the people that trace us through the, 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 the lamp of the car say, mm. Let's go back. These ones are dead. I managed to speak. We are not dead. We are still alive. I spoke on behalf of other two occupants who could not speak. And I said in my heart, how can I be a prophet? And I drive a car and somebody died there because I believe I was a prophet. Even though I wasn't. I was a prophet of Satan. But with that mind that I had. So when you are working in ignorance, God understands. And he knows how to bring you out. But when your mind is open to him. When you are living life to please him. Even in your ignorance. Even in, your, in that evil ways you are working. 
as long as your mind is open. Because I used to ask myself, am I a true prophet of God? Are you asking yourself questions? Are you a Christian? Seriously, don't deceive yourself. Because there is eternity. And Jesus is the only one. The true living God. The true Son of God. Eternity. eternity. Without him, there is no eternal life. God bless you. You are welcome. We are going to have second part of this message by the grace of God. So follow us and don't miss this time next week. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen.